How many times have we interviewed a writer in the last 10 years? Take a guess. Uh, how many? Zero. I checked. Maybe because Rolling Stone doesn't interview writers. There hasn't been a writer like this. Let me have this story. Jesse is the main character of this film. It's David Lipsky telling his story about how he's affected by his time with David Foster Wallace. Writers respect each other, even if they're sometimes jealous of each other. But what I saw in the Wallace-Lipsky dynamic, there was the yin and the yang of what it means to be a writer. I gotta ask, what is with the bandana? What? Mm. What do you mean? No, people think it's your way of um, you know, connecting to a younger reading audience. Is that what people think? This movie, it's a real story. So the first thing I did when I signed on to the movie was to try to meet David Lipsky, and I interviewed him. Listen, before we start putting stuff on tape, I, I need to ask you something. I need to know that anything that I say five minutes later not to put in, that you're not going to put in. Absolutely. David Foster Wallace also was an interviewer. What he was really aware of was that David Lipsky was going to be able to go off, listen to this interview, this four days of material, and construct whatever narrative he wants. It's right back on, huh? Mm. Uh, you agreed to the interview. I met James Ponsel, the director, and asked him what he wanted from this role. He said he wanted me to be like a, you know, like a hunter, like a sniper going into this relationship with my own complicated agenda as a journalist posing as a friend, but actually kind of competing. How do you learn like to do this stuff? Do what? The interviewing. Like does one go to interviewing school? <laughs> um, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm a writer. Ah, okay. Yeah. Great. I mean, I write fiction. You know, Jesse had more experience than I did in taking on a real-life character. He obviously had played Mark Zuckerberg. And you know, he had very specific thoughts on wanting to do the right amount of research, but then creating a character from the ground up. I felt like I was watching two people, like the characters in the film, become friends, get to know each other. It was something deeper than I think I've ever seen on a set. I got a real serious fear of being a certain way. I treasure my regular guyness. Mm -hmm. You don't crack open a thousand page book because you heard the author is a regular guy. You do it because he's brilliant, because you want him to be brilliant. Jesse is the surrogate for the audience. I mean, the entire film hinges around Jesse as David Lipsky. My goal was to make this character as emotionally rich as possible. It's not just a guy going to do an interview, but that it's a guy with his own very complicated agenda, with his own questions of self-identity. This is one of those special movies that comes along very rarely for an actor where you feel like you're acting the whole time. If um, they're responding to your work and your work is really personal, then reading you is another way of meeting you, isn't that right? So. That's so good. Thank you. This piece would be excellent, I think, if it's mostly you. Just <laughs> okay. talk all you want, man. It'll save me a whole lot of trouble. <laughs>《This story about in your mind》Just what it's like to be the most talked about writer in the country, that sort of thing. You're like a nervous guy, huh? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm okay. How are you? Because I'm, I'm terrified.